This is the MC Reggie Fresh Morning Show. Station that pays. This is MC Reggie Fresh from the MC Reggie Fresh Morning Show. And folks, guess who's in the building? He was born out of Columbia, South Carolina. Graduated from C.A. Johnson High School. Attended South Carolina State University and earned his bachelor's degree in communication disorders and a social science from Withdrawal University. A master's degree in business management, leadership, and organizational effectiveness from Troy State University. And a doctor of education degree in higher education leadership from Nova Southeastern University. He's also a graduate of the Higher Education Institute at Harvard University. Among his memberships are Kappa Delta Phi International Honor Society in Education and Golden Key International Honor Society. Committed to community service, he holds memberships in several organizations, including Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporation, Kappa Kappa Psi National Honorary Band Fraternity, the Prince Hall Masonic Fraternity, and a hundred black men of Atlanta. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome, let's welcome the intern president of University of Marsh Brown, Dr. Kevin E. James. Welcome, 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 Mama Sonic Brother. Good morning to you, and welcome to the MC Reggie Fresh Morning Show. How you doing? Oh, man, I'm doing great. Thank you for having me on your show today. The first question I want to ask you is, what was the transition from high school to, to college for you coming out of South Carolina? Yeah. You know, when I, when I finished high school, um... I, all I knew was that I wanted to participate in a historically black college marching band. <laughs> you know, I love music. I was very engaged in, engaged in music in high school. And so uh, coming out of high school, I just wanted to, to march in the marching band at South Carolina State University. Get out of and here. so, uh, yes, 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 yes. The, the infamous <laughs> marching one-on-one -on -one band. And so um, coming straight out of high school, I went to summer camp. Uh, at South Carolina State University, where I kind of got my feet wet regarding uh, HBCU bands. And then that fall, I uh, I enrolled at South Carolina State University on a band scholarship and uh, and, and went from there. Oh, man, you know so what? I, I, was had a, in, I had a very good time. That's great. I was in the marching band as well. I played the drums, and I love marching band. <laughs> okay, yeah, I played the drums as well. Snare drum, bongo brother. I played the snare drums too, man. We got a lot in common. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, then. Now, let me ask you this. After getting your bachelor's and your doctor degree and master's degree and all of that, how did this president did become the president of Morris Brown University come about? Yeah. So, you know, I have been working in higher education for the last 20, 21 years. You know, I started out my career teaching and, uh, I didn't really know that I wanted to be a HBCU president uh, or an administrator at black colleges or in, in higher education. And so it just kind of fell on me because I met when I was 21, I met one of my mentors. And at the time, he was the vice president of a historically black college. Right. And so he told me, he said, listen, I'm going to be one of the youngest college presidents in the nation at age 34. And I was like, I was just so in awe of that. And so guess what? He became the youngest college president of the nation at age 34. And so I asked him, I said, listen, you know, how do, how do I do that? And he told me, he said, listen, you need to go back, get your master's degree, get a doctorate degree, and then kind of go from there. And that's exactly what I did. And I, I kind of landed into a, a director's position uh, as a director of student affairs, student services. And then once I finished my doctorate, I became a college dean. And so I was a college dean for 10 years, and it kind of, you know, I just kind of went on and, you know, got a lot of good experience. And uh, then from there, I became 
uh, the interim CEO of the 100 Black Men of Atlanta. And so uh, after that position, I was sitting at my house mm-hmm. one day, and I saw where my predecessor, uh, Dr. Pritchett, the uh, president of Morris Brown, had resigned. He retired. Mm-hmm. And so I, I immediately said, you know what? I want to be the next president of Morris Brown College. <laughs> and so I picked up the phone, called uh, down, and asked, how do I apply for this position? And uh, the rest is history. And here we are um, uh, six, seven months later. Uh, working to restore the institution. Get out of here. Now, let me ask you about the accreditation. About the accreditation that they have. I know they was losing or something happened with the accreditation. What's your thought process to get this school back on track? Because I know you can do it. Yeah. Well, I'm focusing on three pillars. One, accreditation. Two, fundraising. And three, governance. And so right now we're getting our house in order. Um, I have two hashtags, Restore Morris Brown, The Hard Reset. Uh And that hard reset is not just some fancy, catchy title. That actually is what we're doing. We're we're restoring the factory settings on the cell phone, right? (laughs) And so we're resetting. uh, We're making sure that we're on solid ground. And we're working right now to submit the application for us to be accredited again with the Transnational Association of Christian Colleges and Schools. Uh, we're gonna go back to our Christian roots. Uh, we were founded in the basement of the AME Church. And so we're gonna be working with that accrediting agency. Uh, we plan on submitting the application in two weeks. Right. And uh, hopefully they will give us a thumbs up where we can start the self-study. And hopefully within 12 to 18 months, we'll be there. Outstanding. Okay, Doctor, let me ask you this. How are the alumni and then people, the students, how do, how do they, they uh, like you being their president? Oh, man. Well, I, you know, I, I, you can't please everybody. Well, I know that, yeah. Overwhelmingly, over, <laughs> overwhelmingly, I've received nothing but support and love. Um, I believe that the alums uh, welcome the new energy the new passion, um, you know, the innovation regarding uh, us doing something that's quite frankly never been done in history. Uh, we have been unaccredited since 2002, 2003. And so for us to come back 18, 19, 20 years later is going to be a precedent. And so I just look forward to continuing to work with all the alums um, uh, regarding fundraising, regarding their support uh, to me and to this institution for us to regain and restore Morris Brown College. Man, that's that's wonderful, man. Now I gotta ask you this question. You know, being being an African American, especially a black guy in America today, could you tell me how can you tell the people out there listening, how can you be successful like you are and uh what do you need to focus on and how do you stay focused? Sure. Well, to me, I think success and passion are synonymous. You have to find something that you're passionate about. You have to find something that you would do for free. I I love people. I love higher education. I would do this. Don't tell my board of trustees, but I would do this for free, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, so, <laughs> and, and, and so when you find that passion inside and finding something that's really connected to who you are as an individual, I think that is, you know, the first step into success. And so just continue to push forward. Find out, don't reinvent the wheel, find out what other individuals who are successful in that field of endeavor, what they have done, and kind of model yourself after that. So, you know, you know, when I was a college, when I was seeking to be a college president, I was looking at other HBCU presidents to see what their journey was. Right. What kind of education did they have? What kind of experiences did they have? What, what, what was their personality like? What, you know, what did they, what did they uh, do well? And so just really just kind of modeling yourself after those uh, other individuals who are who are uh, examples of success, I think helps a lot too. Outstanding. You know, it kind of makes me go back to my mom. She used to be like a kindergarten teacher, like a, you know, daycare. And she dealt with kids a lot. She That was a passion, right? So one day she said, I got to go to the post office. She told me to sit there with her kids for a few minutes and she'd be right back. Man, I don't see how she done it. So I made them take a nap real early. So when she came back, she said, Reggie, they ain't supposed to take no nap right now. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I just, what I'm saying, when you got a passion, she just love kids. And I, right. I love kids too, but you know, I'm like, I ain't got that kind of patience like that. But you're right. You gotta have a, you gotta have, you gotta wanna have a passion for everything you do. So that's what, that's what it's all about. Absolutely. Okay. All right, Dr. Uh, Kevin, let me ask you this. 
how can you be how can you be reached? You know, what's your contact when somebody if somebody wants to help out for this school or anything? You got any uh way that people can donate stuff to the school and try to help make it grow? You got that information? Yes. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Well, first of all, let me give you my contact information. Okay. My email address all is Kevin right. dot James at Morris Brown dot edu. Again, that's Kevin dot James at Morris Brown dot edu. You can follow me on all social media platforms at Doctor Kevin E James. Uh, please follow me uh, on Facebook. I post on a daily basis uh, of everything that we're doing here at Morris Brown College. And if you want to give, we're asking the entire community to pour into Morris Brown. If we can raise the dollars, when we raise the dollars, uh, Morris Brown will definitely be restored and we'll get our accreditation back. Uh, we have several ways that you can give on our website. Just go to our website, www.morrisbrown.edu. That's morrisbrown.edu. A cash app, dollar sign, restore Morris Brown. Okay. All right. Oh, uh, now let me ask you this: Do you got any shout outs you want to give to anybody? Oh man, uh, shout out to all of the alums of Morris Brown College. Uh, everybody who's affiliated with Morris Brown. Uh, major shout out to my family, and uh, just continue to keep Morris Brown in, in your prayers and uh, pour into Morris Brown financially. Again, you can go to our website. A lot of different ways to give MorrisBrown.edu. All right, Dr. Brown, I mean, Dr. Uh, James, I appreciate you being on my show, man. <laughs> it's a pleasure to have you oh, here. Thank you. And uh, the last thank question you. I want to ask you, could you please tell me what's the baddest station in the land and the station that pays? Oh, the baddest station in the land is the MC Reggie Fresh Morning Show. And there y'all have it, folks. That's Dr. Kevin E. James, the intern president of Morris Brown University, right here on the MC Reggie Fresh Morning Show. This is the MC Reggie Fresh Morning Show. A station that pays.